Simon Seeks is a uh, travel community website where we encourage travel enthusiasts like me and you, um, celebrities, uh, professional travel writers to write 800 word-ish guides on their favourite destinations, including in that what, what places to stay and why, which restaurants to eat in and why, and all the things to do in their favourite place. I'd be really bored. I'm absolutely um, uh, terrified of doing nothing because I just know I'll be really bored. And then what if I can't get back on the treadmill again? You know, because um, a lot of people said after Money Supermarket, I should have taken, you know, six months off or a year off and traveled the world. And lots of other people that helped me found Money Supermarket have done that. You know, they've had six months off or a year off and they're now doing something else. Um, but I had the idea for Simon Seeks a year ago, you see, and it was just something that I really wanted to pursue. And I just felt that if I didn't do it, someone else would do it. And so I haven't had a day off, unfortunately, in between Money Supermarket and this. When you launch a new business, because it's not totally optimised when you launch, um, uh, PR is really important, okay, and Money Supermarket was built on PR. Uh, we still get hundreds of mentions for the word Money Supermarket in all the national press, on websites and so on, on a monthly basis. So Simon Seeks, that, that's one of the routes to market for us, and because it's quite new and different, it's getting quite a lot of coverage. Um, uh, two uh, portal partnerships, Money Supermarket was built on uh, finding partners out there, like the Yahoo's and so on, etc., that have got huge reach, but didn't necessarily have their own content. And so Simon Seeks will look to, to, to find portals like Yahoo and so on, etc., that want really good travel content that's updated and refreshed, you know, daily, where there's a partnership opportunity to share revenue. So that's going to be a big part of our um, push going forward. Search engine optimization, you know, ranking in the natural results on, on Google is really key to any business. And Money Supermarket, if you, if you look on the web, is number one in nearly all the search terms, whether it be loans, credit card savings, mortgages, you know, car insurance, whatever. We're usually number one, number two or number three. And we've built up an expertise in that area over the last 10 years. And so I'll be bringing that with me. You know, Money Supermarket has really enhanced its brand and reach through TV advertising. You know, it spent probably 18, 19 million pounds last year. So we're pretty good at TV advertising. Um, and that's another way to, to, to promote the product and the brand. There's a lot of competition to get up the rankings on Google. And um, I guess if you, you know, if you badmouth another company through forums and so on, etc., that's then going to come to Google's attention. And Google will look at you as a business and uh, look at whether you are employing black or or, or grey arts, you know, the, 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 they call it black hat and white hat and so on, etc. Tactics to get up Google. And black hat is sort of a no-no and you can get banned on Google. Um, and, you know, we've been at the top of Google now for most of those keywords for probably five or six years. If we were employing any sort of black hat tactics, which are sort of underhanded, would have been banned by now. I mean, lots of companies get banned every day on, on Google for employing those sorts of tactics. We're, we're, we're number one on Google for most of those terms because we're seen as an authority by Google. So, you know, for example, if you look at most of the national newspaper websites, they all use money supermarket content. Um, we get, as I said, lots and lots of PR. So we're mentioned in all sorts of articles and so on and guides on all sorts of really respected websites. And that really helps our, our link equity, which rises up the rankings on, on, on Google. You can't be really high profile and cheat Google. You'll get banned and you'll get really bad publicity off the back of it. We've never advertised in print with Money Supermarket. It just didn't work for Money. Money Supermarket was more about TV because you've got that um, mass audience and people uh, will go, they have their um, laptop next to them, uh, Wi-Fi, watching TV, it's always on. They look straight away, just have a quick peek. We see a huge spike when there's an advert on TV. It just works, it works really, really well. I think with print, it's just too expensive. It worked to, to drive per, a person to our website through print on Money Supermarket. It's just been too expensive. Um, so what the, the tactics we've employed with print has been PR. So for example, we supply all the national newspapers, you know, the money sections of the national newspapers with their best buys. And, and so there's a benefit for them because that's really useful information for their, for, for their readers. But for us, it's got branding. You know, it says supplied by Money Supermarket, source Money Supermarket all over it, and it gives us credibility. So there's other ways, I think, to, to, to get into, into print without paying directly, you know, advertising dollars.
we were always looking for you know another hundred staff and if you're looking for people fast you take shortcuts you don't recruit necessarily the the right people um, and then you have to get rid of people and so on etc and that the, the staffing issue is, is, a, is, a, is a real issue and uh, it was only in the last uh, sort of 12 months when things have really slowed down as a result of the recession that we took a look at the business and thought actually we can get rid of probably 150 people you know, to make the business much more efficient. It was a time when everyone was getting rid of people, you know, and you know, it sounds really hard, harsh, but you get rid of the bottom 10%. So you look very hard at what you've got, who's productive and who's not. And, and we went through that, that exercise. So it was, it was a hard time, but at the same time, it was really good for the business because it slimmed us down and, and it sounds horrible. We got, got rid of a lot of the dead wood, you know, um, and they were the mistakes that we'd made over the last sort of six years because we'd been sort of trying to accelerate our, our, our progress. If you look at our site and you compare it to beat that quote, what we've got is a lot more depth. So you can come to us for almost anything that you want to compare, you can come to us, whereas they will have probably quite a narrow focus. Um, and what they will do is, um, uh, there's just not as many reasons to keep coming back to their site. So if they only do loans, credit card savings and mortgages, you know, how often do you need one of those products? Maybe every three, four years. Whereas with our site, because we've got so much, so much depth, people come back to our site probably on average once a month, something like that. So we've got more of a relationship and we've got forums and so on. So we talk to our, to our customers. And, and, I, and I think you know we are positioned as author, an authority. We're much more trusted, I think, than the, than the beat those beat that quotes. And when people, when it comes to personal finance, people want to go to a company that they really trust because it makes a big difference to you know how much uh, disposable income they have at the end of the day. Well, selling it is sort of terminal. That's it. You know, you've you, you, you've lost your baby, I guess, in a way. And um, at that time, I was still very much into money supermarket. It was still on the on the uh, upward. There's still much lots to go for. It was pre recession and so on. Um, and uh, I just thought, well, basically, w with a flotation, you get your cake and eat it. Really, you sell a, a few shares, but you retain running control and so on, etc. So you you set up for life. All the people that have helped found the business with you that have got you know one percent here, two percent, three percent, or whatever they actually can cash in some of their chips as well, so their, their um, families are secure. So and I promised them that when, you know, when we all went into sort of partnership you know, eight years ago, um, so they were happy. Um, and also I wondered what, I, I was sort of curious, you know, what, what would it be like to be a corporate CEO? Could I make the transition from you know, entrepreneur to corporate CEO um, or corporate entrepreneur, you know, which is a different thing? And I did it for two years. You know, I could do it. I, I, I sort of quite enjoyed it for a period, you know, talking to investors and so on, et cetera. That's because that becomes a big part, of course, of being a CEO. You have to go off to America every sort of three to six months and talk to all the big investors there and so on. Well, we, we peaked at 1.3 billion, which is, to, to be honest, though, the thing is, stocks just go up and down so much every day. I, I you know, I'd probably look at our, our, our share price once every couple of weeks. And you know, someone might say to me, "Oh, you, you're 20 million pound richer today than yesterday," and I'm like, "Yeah, but I'll be 20, pound, 20 million pound poorer probably tomorrow." I just really don't take any notice of it, as long as the general, as long as the business, you know, uh, from a um, branding EBITDA point of view, is continually going in the right direction, the share price will just sort of take care of itself, you know, generally in the long term. And you know, money supermarket is a, is a really good business, but unfortunately, it's. Um, fate is pretty much tied to the banks. So if, 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 if the stock market is, has fallen out of love with the banks, then it falls out of love with money supermarket because it sees us in that sector. Um, but I, the way I see it is it's, all, it's, it's just to, it's going to come back. You know, absolutely it's going to come back. There's no question.